What's up guys, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about why you should quit more often. And I know this sounds a little bit funny, but let me explain. This is a concept that I learned from a Navy SEAL. And this is a really interesting concept. I love the way that he described it. And you know, this is from a Navy SEAL. And so I don't know about you, but when I hear the, the term Navy SEAL, quitting is not exactly what comes to mind, right? Navy SEAL, I think of someone who's tough, who's really hardworking, who has incredible discipline and someone who would never quit. I would never think that the term quitting and Navy SEAL would be together in the same sentence. So why was he saying that it's a good idea to quit more often? Well, what he meant by quitting more often is, you know, he was kind of hemming and hawing on whether or not he wanted to be a Navy SEAL. And when he finally made the decision that he was gonna go to BUDS training, because you have to go to the BUDS training program before you actually become a Navy SEAL. There was 155 guys that went to his particular BUDS program, okay? But when he finally made the decision that he was gonna go to BUDS training and he wanted to become a Navy SEAL, he decided that he was gonna quit everything. He calls this the quitting mindset. And what he meant by this was, he meant quitting everything that doesn't serve him and his long-term goals and his vision for his life and what he's working towards, okay? So for him, that meant he quit going to parties and he quit really having friends and he quit having you know girlfriends and uh, he quit uh, eating junk food. He quit missing workouts. He only really focused on his one primary objective, which was, I I want to become a Navy SEAL, so I'm going to quit everything that doesn't serve me and you know my mission and my long-term goals. And so I thought that was very interesting. Again, he calls it the quitting mindset. And 155 guys went to his particular BUDS training program and only 14 made it out and eventually became Navy SEALs. And he was one of those 14. And he talks about this quitting mindset is really what, what helped him get there. Because when you're doing something like, you know, trying to achieve a goal like becoming a Navy SEAL, you know, you just can't do it all, right? You can have, I'm a firm believer that you can have absolutely anything that you want in life, but you can't have everything and you can't have everything all the time. You've got to decide what it is that you want in life and go after it. So how does this relate to you, right? Interesting story, you know, quitting more often. Navy SEAL tells you you should quit more things that don't serve you and your mission and your long-term purpose. So where does that lead you? Well. I'm, I'm not telling you that you should quit everything and not have any friends and never hang out with friends and never, you know, experience life and enjoy yourself outside of baseball. I'm not telling you that you should be playing baseball 24-7, 365, because I don't think you should be doing that. I think you should be playing other sports and enjoying yourself. And um, But what I am saying is, I think, first of all, you need to get crystal clear on your goals. What do you want out of your baseball career and what do you want out of life? Not what dad wants, not what mom wants, not what your coach wants. What do you want? And if you just want to, you know, be on your high school team and have fun in the process, that's totally fine. And you can maybe, you know, have more friends and go out and do more things and not really work as hard and, and focus as hard as someone who might want to play at the next level, who has aspirations of playing in college or playing professionally, right? That person they're gonna have to you know, give up more things. They're not gonna be able to hang out with their friends every single night. They're not gonna be able to go to every single get together. They're not gonna be able to maybe you know, eat the drive through fast food because they've got bigger goals. So I encourage you, that's the first step is get crystal clear on what you want out of life, not what anybody else wants, but what you want. And it's totally fine if, it, like, like I said, you know, if you just wanna be you know, uh, on your high school team and have fun in the process and you know that you're not you know, playing past high school, that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But if you say that you have big dreams and big aspirations and you want to play beyond high school, into college, maybe play professionally, if you have dreams of eventually playing on a big league, you know, field one day in a big league stadium in front of thousands of screaming fans, you know, you just, you can't do it all. You can't, um, you know, show up early to practice and work hard at practice and show up, you know, stay late after practice and then also have a million friends and also, you know, go to every Every single get together out there and also you know play 10 different sports you know you can't do it all you can achieve anything that you set your mind to but you can't do absolutely everything so I think it starts with get crystal clear on what you want out of life and just be willing to 
you know, make some sacrifices for what you what your ultimate goal is because you can't do it all, okay? So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, be sure to hit that like button. Go ahead and smash it right now. I'd really appreciate that and subscribe. And hey, I know if you're a baseball player, you wanna have a great season this year. So there's another video I wanna, wanna have you watch. It's called Seven Keys to Having a Great 2021 Baseball Season. You can click right here and go watch that video right now. I really think it's gonna help you have a great season and, uh, you know, set yourself up for success throughout the rest of your baseball career. So go watch that right now. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.